What's going on everybody, TG here, back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. As you guys can see, the markets had a great day today. Dow Jones advancing 455 points, S&P up 1.6%, and the NASDAQ up 1.3%, along with the Russell small cap up 1.9%. It's another day where the markets are soaring out of growth stocks and into value stocks. I mean, we're seeing this with the airlines. You know, some of these airlines are up an insane, insane amount today. If we look at things like American Airlines up over 10% today, you know, the small cap up 6% today, like a lot of money being poured into these uh, value companies rather than growth companies. As you guys can see, stocks like NVIDIA and Amazon and, you know, some of these other ones really trailing behind. Now, the one thing I do want to talk about is I feel like there is a big disconnect right now between reality and speculation. Now we are seeing companies like, you know, some companies like Neo and PLTR, like a lot of companies right now that, you know, are very big speculative are having some insane, insane run-ups. And I'm not going to be the bear here and be like, oh, you know, sell this, be careful. Like, but I do definitely want to advise some caution. You know, some of these companies have had an insane run-up and a lot of them on almost no news at all, no real... Um, reason for running up this much except for speculation that it could become the next Tesla in some of these instances and some of them you know some will succeed I, I'm not doubting that that some will succeed but I definitely urge people to take profits and taking profits is one of the most important things to do and that's why I'm I'm very advocating on taking profits today so before I j really jump into this video I just like to ask you guys if you guys hit that subscribe button it does mean a lot um, we're almost at 1,100 subs, which is awesome. We're slowly growing. We got some big challenges coming up ahead, and we want some people involved in it because we want a big community, and we know we love the support and growth. So, do that it means a lot to me. But let's jump in this video. So, taking profits, it, it's so important, and I see too many traders will have a winning position, and they'll let those gains turn into losses. Now, it's different when you're holding shares, obviously, but it's not different when you're holding a spec stock. Okay, we saw this with companies like Nikola, which actually had an amazing, amazing run today. You know, a lot, I'm telling you, these EV companies have increased exponentially recently. But if we look at Nikola and we look at taking profits and all that, you're really going to see, you know, why you take profits. You know, this company got listed at about $34, bumped up to $90. You know, people were making money. Obviously, if you got in here, you were up a lot. Now, this video would have made a lot more sense as Nikola, an example, had it been, you know, where it was a week ago, where it was 18, and, you know, it's doubled since then. Um, but, you know, taking profits, you don't want to be a bag holder, okay? We've seen that with a lot of companies like Kodak and, you know, a lot of these other companies that are um, very speculative, so to speak. You know, people get left behind, and, you know, you see companies that just zoom up. This hit 60-something dollars at one point. Um, it's just incredible. It was 52 guys, $60 a share, and now it's literally 10 times lower than that almost. But I urge you guys to take profits, okay? I know we want to get rich quick. Believe me, every day I want to get rich quick. I think about, oh, if I just put all my money into calls or something and it works, I'll, I'll be rich. But, you know, in reality, it's not the way it goes. For some people, yes. Some people will get there doing that, <clears throat> but the majority of us will not. The best way to make money in this market is long-term thinking, forward-looking thinking, you know, being safe, covering your assets, you know, not leaving yourself completely exposed. Now, you guys can be like, oh, you know, Tyler, you're out here putting all your money into one stock. Okay, let me break down that point. Diversification can be an amazing thing. Don't get me wrong. A barbell portfolio where you have some, you know, COVID winner stocks, some other stocks, yeah, it's good. Buying an index, that gets you um, diversified as well. But wouldn't you want to own the best of the best rather than you know a bunch of stocks that some of the stocks you might not even like? Now, I've heard a couple big investors talk about diversification, Warren Buffett being one of them. And even he said diversification is stupid. You know, if you find a couple good companies, like for me, Apple, Amazon, we just sold Alibaba today, by the way, um, locked in some good profits on that. You know, you find a couple of companies that you really like and you put your money into that. You know, you can't research every single company 100% and, you know, do all that stuff. I try to research uh, like Amazon all the time. I try to put in a lot of research in Amazon. And from everything that I've read, 
from all the due diligence that I have done on Amazon, everything points towards Amazon being a complete powerhouse and continuing to grow and grow over the next couple of years. Now, I could be wrong. There could be a company that comes out and does what Amazon does, but better, but it's highly unlikely. Okay. And that's why I'm willing to put my money into Amazon. So I try to diversify into a single company or companies that are diversified in themselves like Amazon. You know, it's a very diverse company, has so many different streams of revenue and income, and it's consistently, you know, generating more and more money every year, including in tough situations like pandemics, it can clearly thrive. So some of these other companies though, I've been in and I've been up big and I didn't sell. A lot of these spec companies, biotech companies was the first. That's what really got me in the stocks and I was in biotech companies. You have a big profit and you you know, you know let that profit hold too long and it turns into a loss. Now there's a lot of companies out there that people are up big on and I congratulate you guys because you guys made a nice play. You're up, you're up big on it. But you got to think what you're going to do now. You know, you can take your profit out of something that's up a lot, has a huge run, put it into something that's been beaten down a little bit. And that's that's really how you're going to make money. Okay, put it into something that, you know, you don't have that much risk involved in it. You know, some of these other companies that you guys have made big money on, you know, those are risky. You, your risk paid off. Now, you know, you got to you got to ring the register. You got to get paid because it's not a gain until you actually sell it. And I've seen too many people on Wall Street bets and stuff hold these positions, hold these winning positions so long that they turn into losses. Now, a perfect example of this is options. <clears throat> you have a winning option. You're up big on it. You sell your option. Okay, Shares are one thing. You can hold that forever. Options is an expiration date. You don't want to be caught getting completely crushed, either whether it's IV or theta crush. You don't want that to happen. I urge you guys, take your profits. Okay, You want to get, you want to get rich. You want to get wealthy. Believe me, the best way to do it is to stay consistent and not go for these home runs all the time because you might hit a couple, but if you strike out, it's over. Starting back from scratch is the worst thing you can do. Trust me, I, I have been there. I, I know exactly what that feels like. It's not a good feeling at all. To make so much money and then to lose it all and more, it's a terrible feeling. So what I urge you guys to do, if you are up on some positions, trim. You don't have to sell all of them, but definitely sell a lot. If you have an option to play with only the house's money, like let's say you triple your money, okay, sell it so that way you're only playing with your profits. That way if you lose it, okay, you still made money on that transaction. But taking profits is so, so important, especially nowadays. You know, we've seen too many companies. I'm looking at a company, I was actually going to, I was talking to some of my people yesterday about shorting this company um, because it was up so much. I wish it would have opened up green, like after hours, it was up so much. After I was, this was like $39 and I was willing to put my put um, 5K into puts. Now, I normally don't do that, but on a company that like that, I was about to. Think about the people that bought in yesterday. Think about the people that bought in after I was at $39 a share. They are now down huge. People that bought in at $30 and it went up to $39. They were up huge, did not sell, and now they're down. I urge you guys to take profits when you can. Now, some companies, you know, you could have been dumb for taking profits like Tesla. You know, you could have been... You could have made a bad decision taking profits early like a couple thousand points ago, um, but you never lose taking a profit. You cap your profits, but you, don't never, you never lose. You never take a loss, and I'd rather have a gain than a loss anytime. So guys, I urge you just to be smart traders. Now, obviously, I've been not doing so well these past couple weeks. You know, nothing's really been, you know, making barely anything, but you know what? The, the whole point of this is to try and do things the smart way. Now, you know, it's not a great graph, but it's a slow uptrend graph with a couple peaks and valleys here on a big crash. But you know, overall, it's a pretty consistent up graph, and that's despite Amazon not doing anything at all. You know, we try to make money where we can passively with our credit spreads and our cash secured puts, and then we have our Amazon shares ride. Now, obviously, I'm going to reduce a lot of my Amazon shares when it does finally have its big run up, but it hasn't had its run up yet. It's been lagging behind, and <clears throat> everything points towards it that it should be going higher. And sometimes you just got to be patient. So. Guys, that's the whole point of this video, just profit taking, you know, take your profits, you know, you earn that money, make it realized, you know, so I know I don't want to sound like, you know, your parents to tell you to do all that stuff, but I actually do look out for you guys and I have a lot of guys in my discord, which is in the link in the description below. If you guys want to join, it's totally free, um, great group, of, great group of traders in there, but you know, taking profits is important. I've seen too many of you guys have a really good position and lose it all. And as someone who's done that before and has felt that pain and sickness in your stomach from losing it all, 
It's not a good feeling. I was able to build my account back, you know, doing smart, you know, playing it safe like this. These past couple of months has been doing super safe and it's obviously working out. So we're going to keep this going and, you know, see how it works. But anyways, guys, hope you guys are doing good and hope you guys are enjoying this huge bull run we've been having. Um, but take caution, you know, cover yourself, make sure you're not too overexposed and, you know, take profits when you can. So guys, hope this is helping. Hope this is helpful. I know it's not the normal video about do this, do that, or, you know, different strategies like that or stocks, but you know, it's definitely important, especially nowadays when we have companies that are up insane amounts and that can drop so fast. So if you guys are up, take some profits, you know, ring the register a little bit and enjoy your day. Enjoy your gains that you made. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this and I'll talk to you guys next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye.